As we've seen relationships between the US and Europe in flux to some extent, or uh, the US and allies in flux, what do you think that the US and, and, and Russia want to achieve from this meeting? What is the end goal here? Well, it's certainly something that all the NATO allies and the European countries will be very alarmed by. I work for Erasmus and Global. My boss is the former Secretary General of NATO. Let's not forget that this all comes during a time when Russian interference, not only in the U.S. election, but many other elections around the rest of the world, is becoming more and more important in terms of international relations. So as far as European allies are concerned, what Donald Trump is doing is doing nothing less than taking a sledgehammer to the world order. And it's astounding you know that he spent so much time criticizing the US's traditional closest allies over NATO defense spending you know whether it's Theresa May's Brexit plans and yet coming to Europe before he set off last week he said that he expected his moot meeting with Putin to be one of the easiest ones and Nina very good morning to you it's Manus we've just had a tweet from the president of the United States and he's talking specifically about NATO let me just give you a sense of it he basically says NATO is now strong and rich. Would you agree? Is NATO stronger uh, and richer as a result of his uh, visit last week or not? He goes on to say he, he said he's received lots of calls from lots of people uh, uh, bringing everybody together. And the summit uh, was inaccurately covered by much of the media. NATO is stronger and richer. Agree? absolutely disagree. What Donald Trump has done is undermine NATO, of course, and going into his meeting with Vladimir Putin, you couldn't imagine from Vladimir Putin's perspective, you know, somebody who would be a better time grenade to throw into the Western alliance than Donald Trump. What he has agreed on defense spending, or what he said, is certainly something that other U.S. presidents have said before. So the need for European countries to contribute more to their defense has long been an item on the agenda. But the way that Donald Trump presented it in that it was a binary, you know, bad deal for the United States is certainly not true. If you look at NATO's 70-year history, what it has done is uphold, you know, the Western liberal order, which has been beneficial not only to European citizens, but certainly to all U.S. citizens as well. And by undermining NATO, he's not only shown his Western allies that they can't rely on him, but he's also strengthened Vladimir Putin's hand. So I think that Vladimir Putin will be very pleased as he meets Trump in Helsinki today. Again, let's not forget Forget that this is a president who is under investigation for potential collusion with Vladimir Putin in his election campaign. And this comes, of course, this meeting comes days after the indictment of 12 Russians said to have hacked, um, you know, the democratic servers in the United States. So this is really tremendous. And the fact that so much news is going on um, that this almost seems normal is, re is actually quite bizarre.